12 News goes in depth with longtime Wisconsin Congressman Paul Ryan. WISN 12 News political reporter Kent Wayne Scott questioned Ryan about politics, policy, and the 2016 presidential race. He was with Ryan as the congressman learned of today's tragic terror event. Congressman Paul Ryan was taking questions from a panel of reporters in front of a large audience when he was notified that an American journalist had been executed by terrorists. ISIS is a terrorist organization unlike any we've seen before. They're like Al-Qaeda 3.0. He talked about the quick rise of the terror group and blasted President Obama for Ryan believes not recognizing the seriousness of the terror threat. We should have and prosecute a campaign to defeat ISIS. Uh, because if we don't do it here and now, it will come to get us. This, I'm not trying to be a, a scaremongering person here, but we need to see this threat for what it is. And I worry that the president doesn't see this moment for what it is for him and for us as a country. On behalf of civilization and on behalf of our freedom, we have to deal with this threat comprehensively and thoroughly now. And that is what I want to hear and see from our commander in chief. Before that news broke, Ryan had tackled a number of topics, including the partisan divide in Washington, the president and congressional Republicans, each claiming the other is standing in the way of progress. Have we reached the point where um, any ideas from either party uh, simply runs into a dead end or won't be accepted by the other side? It's as bad as I've ever seen it, Kent, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> this is my 16th year doing this. Um, I believe leadership makes a big difference on this. And right now we have the sort of zero-sum game thinking, which is if this crowd gains, then it necessarily comes at the expense of the other party. I don't believe that. He also talked about the response from critics to his high-profile plans for the future of Social Security and Medicare. Uh, you've met with some protests uh, out on your book tour from critics who still portray you as the politician who wants to take grandma's benefits away. If you want to be part of the solution, you have to be prepared to be demagogued. You have to be prepared to be made controversial. But you got to get through all of that. So those I've been protested for years. You know, it, it just goes with the territory. And we asked about the decision he faces whether to run for president in 2016 and how it may differ from 2012. The things that kept you from running last time around, uh, the impact on your family, etc. What's changed? What would be different? Last time around, I was younger even. I was 42. My kids were really young. Um, I'm older. I feel like I have some more experiences to know what it is, what it takes. Uh, before you get into a national campaign, it's, it's hard to conceptualize what it actually is like. I don't have that problem anymore. I have a pretty good sense of what it's like. So that, that's, there's no gray area in my mind about that. Um, it's also about, uh, are, there, is there, are there other good campaigns out there? Uh, are there other good candidates out there that can, can be a good standard bearer, that can win a national campaign? Can you envision a scenario where Paul Ryan and Scott Walker are competing for the Republican I, nomination? You know, I, I'm not going to get into that. I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, beats me. He says he'll decide next year whether to get into that race for the White House. First up, though, he faces a challenge for re-election in Wisconsin's first congressional district this November. In the newsroom, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Ryan will face Democrat Rob Zerbon in the general election in November. This is the second consecutive election the small business owner has challenged Ryan. Zerbon tells 12 News he believes Ryan is out of touch with voters in his district. The biggest issue I hear out there is that we need good paying jobs and um, Congressman Ryan has had 14, 16 years to, to fight for good paying jobs here in the district and we've seen the greatest job loss while he's been our congressman so it's time for a change. The first district includes Kenosha, Racine and Walworth and also parts of Milwaukee, Waukesha and Rock counties. Both candidates will debate before the election. The details though are not yet finalized. We'll keep you updated. Now to the